to Winkle Jen and today car dealerator is going to take all of you auto enthusiasts to a very interesting journey. We are here at the Heritage Transport Museum which is located at Manisar Gurgaon. Tarun Thakral, who is the founder of the Heritage Transport Museum, located in Gurgaon, Manisar. Heritage Transport Museum is India's first comprehensive transport museum. Uh, it's built on three acres of land, and we do also have three and a half uh, more acres for museum related activities. The entire building is uh, close to about 100,000 square feet, fully air conditioned and spread on four floors. What we depict at the museum is how people of India have travelled. It is uh, right from pre-mechanised modes of transportation to aviation. Um, all modes of transportation are presented at the Heritage Transport Museum. I was out of the country for a few years and uh, it's there that I saw that people spend a lot of time on hobbies and I kept wondering that why in India we do not pursue our hobbies or our interests and then um, when I came back in 94 on one of my trips to Rajasthan I came across a ramshackled car and that's what triggered the passion for cars I somewhere after collecting about 40-50 I thought this is just about cars, so let me, let me do something about more to do with transportation. And that's when I got into all other modes of transportation and that's how the collection grew. There was no planned vision when I saw my first car. Uh, that was way back in 1994 and it was a 1932 Chevrolet. And that was just like, okay, somebody has got a toy, a new toy to play with and it was in a very bad condition. Uh, we spent two hours rectifying, uh, restoring that car and once the car was back on its wheels and that's the time something triggered in me that you virtually got something back to life and that's what triggered the passion for cars. So from 1994 to 2006 uh, you know, the collection from one grew to close to about a hundred. And there are reasons for that uh, as to why this culture has gone down or has died down. It's primarily because 99% of the museums in this country are government run museums. They do not change anything. Uh, and in my own experience, if you don't keep a museum vibrant like like any other sector uh, people will stop coming there you need to bring in change you need to keep changing things you need to improve your displays uh, we have some of very rare collections in, in, in Indian government museums um, and they're a treasure trove but people don't go that go there because nothing changes there so an object which was displayed uh, in a particular way for the last 20 years it's still there at that particular position. So the interest levels are down. And talking about the younger generation, the button generation as I call them, you know, they're, they're into their small gizmos. You need to develop displays, you need to make uh, things which they can understand. 
So even the text or the writing that you put next to your object has to be in today's language. It can't be that historical fashion language. And that's what we've tried to do. We've tried to present it in a very modern form, in a, very, in a form which can be understood by this young generation. Okay, uh, you know, it's a very small thing that we have at the museum, which is the only Indian flag that has gone to the moon and back. Nobody else has this in our country, even the government of India doesn't have it. This flag was up for an auction uh, in the US uh, about two, three years back now, actually four years back. And uh, I definitely decided that I would like to have this flag this Indian flag for our museum because it is the future of transportation. Space travel is the future of transportation. And this flag had gone to moon um, in one of the Apollo 15 missions way back in the 70s. So I stayed up all night. Uh, it was an online auction by Heritage Auctions. I stayed back all night because of the time difference and actually won that bid. Uh, and today it's, it's, it's a part of, of our pride and it's being dis it's displayed at the museum. Okay, we're looking at an expansion because the way uh, uh, we are, our collections are growing, we, we are soon going to run out of space. So we have a plan for 2020, that's 2020, where we do plan to expand the museum in the three and a half acres of land that we have and also build a, a first, uh, first of its kind museum hotel along with the expansion of the museum. So where you'll find where people can actually come and stay the night, you'll have rooms which are all differently designed with a transportation theme so that not only do you see the, the museum but you also get to sleep in a place, you know, uh, which is uh, transport centric. So thank you Mr. Patan Thakral for being there with CDR and talking about the Heritage Transport Museum and sharing your experiences with us.